Hi, my name is Peter, and over the next few weeks I'm preparing to launch a new show called Let's Play Friday. It's going to be a Let's Play show going through my video game collection, starting with Atari 2600 to NES, Sega Genesis, and beyond. Hope you'll join me for that. Um, I'll have a link in the description to subscribe to that channel so you don't miss a show. Today, I'm going to be taking you through putting together the Synology DS415 Plus Network Attached Storage Device. Um, it's uh, basically an external hard drive that sits on the network so you can share files uh, to multiple computers easily. I'll be using this to hold the raw video uh, for the show and I'll be pulling it onto my new editing computer to uh, put the show together. And we'll be going through the build process for that computer in an upcoming video. I ordered the Synology DS415 Plus from Newegg.com and apparently they share a distributor with Newtrend dot uh, dot com because I got someone else's packing slip. Uh, New Egg's usually very good. I'm not sure what went on, but uh, M. Mienso from Montgomery Village, Maryland. If you're out there, I have your packing slip. I hope you got your high performance on ear headphones. Anyway, here's the Synology. We're going to open this up. That's right, it's two in one, an unboxing video and configuration. Whoa. Power cord. Small box there. Protective packing material. And here is the NAS box itself. Here we are. Protective plastic on the front. If I was going to be around this at all, I would hate how shiny this is because I get fingerprints on it all the time. Hello, light. Uh, but it's going to be sitting on a shelf with my network stuff, so hey, probably doesn't matter. Let's see what's in here. Got the quick installation guide, power adapter, and two network cables. Very nice as well as some screws. Taking the front off is very simple. Just pulls straight off. Some rubber sort of uh, nubbins there to hold it in place. And the drives I'm going to be putting in this here are the Western Digital Red drives. Uh, these are the uh, network attached storage specific drives. Autofocus is not working there. Uh, I've got two four terabyte drives. I'm going to be setting them up, uh, I think, in a RAID so that they're mirrored uh, for greater redundancy. So if one of the drives goes bad, I still have all my data on the other drive. To put them in, we push this little tab and pull out on these caddies. The uh, rails simply pop off here on both sides. It's just a matter of Setting the drive in, lining up the holes, there we go. And snapping the drive rail on on both sides. And again with this side, the drive rail just snaps into place, uh, and then the the whole drive, there's a little arrow right here that shows which side goes up. Slide it right in and clicks right into place, nice and solid. We'll do the same with the other drive. It does have a small uh, foam pad right here to help absorb some vibration. In addition, the actual mating surface where the, um, the rail connects to the drive uh, does have a rubber grommet there to help uh, reduce noise and vibration. Simple as that. I've got two drives mounted in. You can't even tell from the front, but it's uh, in the one and two slot. Just put the front cover right back on here. Now 
and I am ready to go. I could have put these screws in, but honestly, I don't see the purpose for that. Uh, the side rails seem to hold it very securely, and um, I, the box isn't moving around, uh, so I think it'll be fine. Okay, real quick before I go put this in with my other network stuff, put it up on the shelf and plug it into the switch. Just a quick overview tour of the, of the device. So uh, on the one side panel, Synology logo, it's vented. I guess that helps get some heat out. The front, shiny as I mentioned before. It's not that I think it looks bad, it's the, the fingerprint attraction factor. Uh, but again, it's gonna be sitting on the shelf, so it really doesn't matter. Um, power button, USB port, uh, five LED uh, lights here, one for the status of the machine, one for each of the four drive bays. The other side, again, another vented Synology logo. Two fans on the back. Uh, I guess they're about 80 millimeter fans. Two gigabit ethernet ports, which support link aggregation and failover. Uh, failover meaning if one of the ports goes bad or a cable goes bad or my switch port goes bad, uh, it can switch over to the other one and I don't lose service from the device um, just because one of those things went bad. Uh, power input here, uh, eSATA, uh, external SATA port, serial ATA, serial attached to, I don't remember what ATA stands for. Um, two USB 3 ports and a Kensington lock. Isn't that fun? Uh, I've never actually seen them in use, but they're on everything, so that's good. Uh, nothing on the top. Not much on the bottom, a couple little rubber feet, uh, four to be specific, and uh, that's it. Let's go plug this in. Installation was super easy. I just put it on the shelf and plugged it in, and uh, now we're going to configure the device through the online interface. Um, it came with Cat 5e cables. The rest of my wired network in the house is Cat 6, so I might make some cables for it uh, in the future, but for now, I'm sure they'll be just fine. So the little paper that came with the device said we should, uh, after it's plugged in, we should go to find.synology.com. So let's give that a try. And see what happens here. Searching, searching. Hey, look at that, found us, all right. So let's hit connect. Set up, okay, sure, why not? Uh, okay. Oh no, all the data on my brand new hard disks will be removed. Approximately 10 minutes. So, uh, once I plugged it in and, and powered it up, it kind of sat there and, and the power button blinked blue for a little while. Uh, and then it beeped the lights uh, by the status indicators for disks one and two, which are where the disks are, lit up. And the status light started blinking amber. So I assume that means everything's good to go, but the software is not installed. So here we are installing the software. Okay, <clears throat> I went and got a drink of water, came back, and everything's better. So, uh, let's see. Server name. Up here on the login page. Okay, how about disk station? Oh, they, they intercap it. How about admin? Medium strength. Oh, okay. Well, we'll hit next here. That looks fine. Tuesday and Friday at four in the morning. Seem like pretty safe times for updates to be installed. Eh. I know it's anonymous, but I'm just not a fan of that. And uh, all right, let's see what we got here. Well, there it is. 
All right, it says everything's good there. RAM is at 4%. This unit comes with two gigs of RAM. Uh, it is not technically user upgradable uh, because doing so will void the warranty. However, uh, from what I've seen online, it's very easy to upgrade it to have uh, much more than two gigs of RAM. Uh, I'll see if it's really an issue for me. I'd rather not mess with it if I don't have to. Uh, avoiding warranties is fun, but having warranties is nice. So um, we'll just leave it with a stock configuration for now and see how it go goes. Um, I do know uh, in the package center there are quite a bit of things, um, quite a few things that, that are available for this. Uh, things like uh, apps to act as a media server to play videos through your TV, for example. Um, you can set it up as an iTunes server so that you can get to your same iTunes library from uh, any device on the network. So I'm pretty excited about that. Of course, the main reason that I'm setting this up is to host all the video files from stuff that I shoot for Let's Play Friday, as well as um, other video work that, I've, that I'm doing. Uh, so that I have a, a, a place outside of my editing computer to hold archived material. So I think it's going to be great for that, and it's got lots of other features that should be fun to play with. All right, so there you have it. Uh, unboxing and quick setup of the Synology DS415 Plus network attached storage device. Uh, honestly, I couldn't think of how the setup could have been any smoother. Uh, I basically took it out of the box, stuck a couple hard drives in it, plugged it into the power and the network, and that's about it. I went to that website that detected the device on the network and had me install the software in a matter of minutes, and uh, we're up and running. So I'm really excited for how this is going to expand the capabilities of, of how I handle data on my network. I can uh, archive all my footage there, and it's going to make my workflow for video editing a lot simpler. Don't forget, Let's Play Friday is coming up. We'll be going through Atari 2600, NES, Sega Genesis, and more, so you don't want to miss that. Uh, link in the description to subscribe to that channel so you don't even miss the first episode. I'm really excited for it, and I hope you are too. I'll see you there. That would be really creepy if I could watch you watch me play video games. Uh, I won't see you there, but hopefully you see me there. So uh, go ahead and subscribe.